agony tore at my mind. I'm a statistic. And when I first got here, I felt very much alone. I was overwhelmed with grief, and I expected to find something. But oh, I found no sympathy. I only saw thousands of others whose bodies were as badly mangled as mine. I was given a number and placed in a category, and the category was called traffic fatality. Now, the day I died was an ordinary school day. Oh, how I wish I'd taken the bus. But I was too cool for the bus. I remembered how I'd conned my mom out of her car that day. A special favor, I pleaded, because all the other kids drive. And when the 250 bell rang that day, I threw my books in my locker. I'm free until 8.40 tomorrow morning. Oh, I ran to the parking lot, excited at the thought of driving a car, being my own boss, being free. Now, it doesn't matter how the accident happened. I was just goofing off, I guess. Going a little too fast, smoking a little pot, taking crazy chances. But I was enjoying my freedom and having myself a ball. And the very last thing I remember was passing an old lady who seemed to be going awful slow. Then I heard the deafening crash and felt a terrific jolt. Glass and steel flew everywhere. My whole body seemed to be turning inside out. And then I heard myself scream. Suddenly I awakened and it was very quiet. This police officer was standing over me then I saw this doctor. My body was so mangled, I was saturated with blood. Pieces of jagged glass were sticking out all over my body. And I thought it strange that I didn't feel anything. Hey, mister, don't pull that sheet over my head. I can't be dead. I'm only 17. I got a date tonight. I'm supposed to grow up and have a wonderful life. I can't be dead. But later, I was placed in a morgue on a cold slab, and my folks had to identify me. Oh, why did they have to see me like this? Why did I have to look into my mom's eyes when she had just been through the most terrible ordeal of her life? And my dad, he suddenly looked like an old man as he told the man in charge, yes, that's our son. And my funeral, it was a real experience. I saw all my relatives and friends walk towards my casket. They passed by one by one and looked at me with the saddest eyes I guessed I'd ever seen. Some of my buddies were crying and my girlfriend touched my hand and sobbed as she walked away. Please somebody wake me up and get me out of here. I can't bear to see my mom and dad so broken up and my grandparents are so racked with grief they can barely walk and my brother and sister are like zombies walking around in a daze please somebody no one can believe this and i can't believe it myself please don't bury me i can't be dead i have a lot of living to do i want to laugh and run again i want to sing and dance oh please don't put me in the ground i promise if you give me one more chance god I'll be the most careful driver in the whole wide world. All I'm asking is one more chance, God. Please, I'm only 17.